friends. So I'm about to make <clears throat> sunglass cookies. These are from Liz. And I wanna make sure that like the inside eye portion and everything is exact on each cookie and matches up. So what I've done is I've traced it with permanent pen. Um, and I'm gonna cut out the center part. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna like overlay it on the cookie, do a trace before I flood. And then for the other side to ensure that I don't have to make like an exact same kind of, uh, of shape, I'm just gonna flip it the other way. So stay tuned to see how all this stuff turns out. I'm hoping that this will help me um, make it a lot easier so I don't have to do everything kind of just by eye. So now I've got my template and my cookie. I actually had to perform a little surgery right here because I cut too much. So what I did was slap some tape on it and cut over it and it's fine. So I want to line up my template on one side first. And remember, it's just a guide. So when you get the icing on there, you can still manipulate it to kind of make sure that um, you're getting the shape you want. And then in order to do the other side, I just flip it over. Just like that, you've got some guides for your sunglasses. And I'm using a food doodler here in yellow. You can use any kind of pen you want for this. Sweet Sugar Bell has one that's really nice. I want to make some roses to have a little bit of a gold sheen on them so I took the wedding gold powder and basically instead of using cornstarch to kind of grease your mold so that it has easy release I'm using the gold for that and I'm throwing in the fondant into the mold Pressing it in all the way, making sure that the sides are clean so you don't have to trim anything off at the end. And then right away, I kind of just press it out. And you'll see the yellow with bits of gold on it. 